Honda coming in at just at 48 pounds with no fuel. Both of the machines do have oil, but they've been ran out of fuel. And we'll take a look at the Predator. 50 pounds even. Now we're going to go into our sound check here, and we are at a distance at 23 feet, and the sound meter is going to be approximately 5.5 feet high. That's about where your ears are on average. And we'll start this test on the eco mode for both generators. Then we'll go from eco mode to full open and back. Start the meter, give it about a 15 to 20 second test. Coming in with about a 64 average. 65. And right about 20 seconds. And we'll turn off the eco switch, do another sound check. Coming in right about 70 dBs. All right, we'll move over with the Honda now. And we're going to do the same test starting with the eco switch first. Reset the timer. Give it about 15 to 20 seconds. Impressive numbers with the Honda. Only 60 dB. Okay, and now we're turning the eco mode off. Reset our timer. We'll let that run for about 15 seconds. Both coming in at 70 decibels each, on average. All right, so now we're gonna do a sound test with both of them running, both in the eco mode. And together they're running about a 66 dB average. We'll go ahead and turn off the eco mode on both of these. This is like a comparison if maybe you had two generators and you had them linked up at parallel, kind of give you an idea of what it might sound like. 73 dB average for both. Okay, now we'll do a load test with um, basically the heat gun, which is gonna provide us 1500 watts approximately of, of power being drawn. And then we'll go do a sound check with the generator under load. Sometimes it was a little hard to get the camera in there because I'm trying to stay out of the way of the sound meter and only putting the camera up on top of it so we can see it. So that's why sometimes trying to get in there to focus was a little difficult. All right, under load, we're right about 74 dB. And now we'll move this test over to the Honda. Same test. Eco mode off. Running approximately 1500 watts. Note the kilowatt meter. Giving a full 1490 watts of draw 
versus the Predator only at about 1,430. Not bad numbers for the Honda. 72 dB average. Also providing more watts than the Predator. And now we're going to start our full load test. We have our 1500 watt heat gun. And then we're going to use the orbital polisher sander. And that's going to give me another 550-ish watts that we can use as I gear it up slowly. So we'll continue just to give it a little bit more power, bring it up to about 1600 and hold it there for a second. And we'll continue to add a little bit more and as you know up on the generator, every time I kind of click and add a little bit more power you'll see the the light blinking up there. Now that we're kind of getting up to where the generator is sensing too many watts, now it's flashing at us, obviously. All right, shut down. And we'll go ahead and reset the generator, a nice feature that the Predator does have. You just turn off all your loads and reset. All right, same test for the Honda. Again, the Honda is showing a 1,490 watts versus the Predator giving us about 1,430 for the heat gun. So it is definitely putting out more power. Pretty impressive for sure. All right, we'll continue to just keep running it up. So far, no overload light or anything from the Honda. Holding pretty well. And there it seems to be showing a little bit of an overload sign. Still running. Very impressive. Well, it just kind of seems to keep going. Look at that. Wow. We're just going to bump it up the rest of the way and see what happens. Wow, very impressive with the Honda. Amazing, it just keeps going.
won't shut off. I think we're going to have to go find ourselves some more power. Alright, well we'll shut this down. I'm going to go get another piece of equipment that we can use. So what I got is my old kind of beat up, uh, you know, vacuum. And this provides us about another 450 watts. So we'll start off with the heat gun again, turn on the vacuum, and then we'll use our polisher and start gearing up a little bit more. See if we can get this thing to go into shut off mode. Very impressive so far, it just continues to run. Well, it just keeps on going. Well, pretty impressive results with the Honda. It's amazing how well it does. It's putting out almost the full 2,000 watts. And I guess that's why these things are so popular. It's proven to be quiet. It is light. And it does put out, you know, a decent amount of wattage for the, you know, generator that it is. The price tag is a little hefty, but proving grounds here are definitely showing why it's number one.